This video is going to look at how you get photos onto the iPad, in particular using the iPad's camera, and how to save a picture from a website and take a screen capture. Now, this is part one of a series of videos on how to get photos on and off the iPad. So let's start with how you open the camera, and there are three ways to open the camera on the iPad. And the first one is to open it as the camera app. Now, because I've got nine pages of apps, I can't find the camera app. So I'm going to use the search by just pulling down on any home screen and just typing in the camera name. And all I have to do is put a C in, really. And that will give me the camera as the top hit, which will then open the camera. And we'll look at how you use the camera shortly. So just close that. The other way to open the camera is using the control center. So if you push up from the bottom, the camera app is located in the control center, so you can open it from there. In the settings, that if you have access within apps turned on, then the control center can be accessed anywhere when you're in any app, so you can access the camera. If you turn that off, then the control center can only be activated on a home screen. So I can drag up and now I've got the control center with the camera. If I go into an app, so I just go into this weather app. And in within that app, if I drag up from the bottom, I can't activate the control center because I've turned that one off. When I turn it back on, access within apps back on. And go back to that weather app. When I drag up, I can get the control center where the camera app is available. Now, the last way to open the camera is when the camera is in sleep mode. So if I turn this off, go back to the home screen, turn it off. So by, by using the sleep wake button or the home button to get the iPad into the lock screen, you have the camera available at the bottom there. So I can drag up and then I can access the camera. Now you can see down the bottom here there are no pictures so if i tap on that i cannot get into the camera roll until i unlock the ipad so there is no security problems with activating this camera so let's do it again from the lock screen so i can go up and open the camera and zoom in on the dog's favorite toy and take that picture now you can see at the bottom there there is now a picture there that i've taken and I can see that picture because I've just taken that one, but I can't see anything else in my camera roll. And if I go to camera roll, it's not going to show me anything because I still haven't unlocked the iPad. So there's that security there. Just look at the settings for a moment. In the control center is where you find the settings for accessing the control center within apps. Uh, and if you turn that on, then any app you're in, you can bring up the control center where you have access to the camera. The other setting if you wanted to disable the camera altogether is in general and in restrictions and you have to enable the restrictions by putting in a passcode twice and I can turn the camera off which means I can't use FaceTime and I can't use the camera for anything and if I go back out and bring up the control center you can see the camera is not there at all so I can't use it. If I try and search for it and get camera, it won't come up because it's been disabled. And if I go into the lock screen, the camera's gone. So if you do that, if you turn it off in restrictions, you can't use the camera at all. So let's turn them back on. Go back into general and restrictions. Turn the camera back on and disable the restrictions photos and camera setting and some of these other settings we'll look at in another video when I look at the photos app. So the only settings for the camera are two of them. The grid is on at the moment so if I turn the camera on and frame a picture then I've got that grid to set up the shot. So if we turn off the grid, open the camera again there is no grid. So I turn the grid back on. The other setting is for HDR, height, dynamic range which blends the best parts of three separate exposures into a single photo. So if you turn HDR on in the camera app, then you have an option to keep the normal photo 
as well as the HDR photo. So if I turn that off, uh, but I take and I turn HDR on, I'm just going to get one photo, the product of the three. So HDR is off at the moment. So if I turn HDR on and take that picture again, so you can see the uh, HDR, that it's an HDR image because it has HDR in the top left. So if we look at how you take a picture with the camera, and uh, I'm just taking a picture of what's next to me on my desk. So it's nothing very interesting. But I can take it as a photo, you can see there on the right hand side, I can change it to a square. So if you're willing to take a picture for Instagram, for example, where you need a square, you can switch to square. So square or photo. Pinch to zoom in and out, so I can zoom in on one particular thing, so maybe zoom in on the light. Tap where you want to focus it, so if I want it to focus on that light, I'll tap up there. Tap wherever you want it to focus, and then you can take the picture using that shutter. The other way you can take a picture is by holding the volume uh, button. But I found when you do that, you, you put your finger over the shutter, so it's not, not actually... That's my, my fingers where you can't see anything. So I don't find that very useful. You've also got a burst mode. So if I wanted to take a picture of three water bottles I have here, I can focus it or focus it on this one on the right here. And zoom in and out. Hold down the shutter and you get burst mode. You can see at the bottom right there, it's just taking picture after picture of the same thing. So in the camera roll, you can see all the images that you've just taken. And uh, these are all the pictures that I've taken with burst mode. Now you've got some basic editing in the Photos app with a picture that you've taken or any picture that, that ends up in the camera roll can be edited. And so you can crop it. So if I crop and moving the sides, I can just take some of that background out and just take the bottles. And then crop and then save. And the other, other editing is that you can remove red eye, you can enhance, you can rotate, and it's got some very simple filters. But I've found there are better apps, third-party apps, that will do photo editing than the iPad's native camera app. Now, there are a couple of other ways that you can get pictures onto the iPad. And one of them is by saving an image that you see on a website. So let's just open a browser. I'll open up Chrome. And on a website, any picture, so it's gone to, to this page here. And I want a picture of that cat. So all I have to do is hold my finger down and save the image. So I'm going to hold it down. I've saved it to the camera roll. The other thing you can do with this is also search Google for the actual original image and open that image in a new tab if you wanted to do something else with it. So if I go back into the Photos app, and there's the, the picture there that I saved from the website. You can also grab an image using a screen capture. Pressing the sleep wake button and the home button at the same time, just briefly, and you see a little flash that takes a capture. So you could be taking a screen capture of an app. So if I open up this app, and take a screen capture of just that picture. Or you could be on a web page. And so here's a web page and I, and I can take a screen capture of that page. Hold down the sleep wake button and the home button. You'll hear a little flash like a shutter. And then in your photos app, in the camera roll at the bottom there, there's the, the, the screen capture of the home screen, a capture from one of the apps, and a web page. And then you can edit it. So if I don't want all of that page, I can crop and just take that bit that I want. And then when you're ready, crop and save. Besides importing photos onto your iPad or copying them from another source like a computer or a phone, the major three ways to get photos onto your iPad is to take a photo with the camera, the iPad camera, either a still image or a video. So I can go into the camera app and you can select, at the moment it's on photo and I can select a square photo 
or you can take a video so just move the slider down to video and it's now a red dot and that's the recording button so if I record the same thing record the bottles on my desk just tap the red dots and the video starts so it's now three four five six seconds of video and then the red button to stop it you have a a button for the front facing camera so up here click uh, tap that and the camera will then be the front facing camera which you can use for taking selfies or for facetime or skype and the other other two ways for taking pictures is save them from a website just hold the picture down and save image or do a screen capture so that's all for this video